Hey, do you think I'll get a demerit? Because I don't have a belt on, but I'm gonna put a sweater on today, so I hope that it, it's gonna hide it. Do you think I'll still get a demerit? Damn, first week at school? I wanna transfer. Catch 22? Um, there's a movie about this, right? This book is too long. I'ma just wait until I go in class, and if he asks us some questions, I'ma just blend in with the other kids and just make up stuff as I go. We only get, you know, points for participation, so it's alright. Hey, yo, we didn't have homework today, right? Because if I get a LaSalle, man, my parents are gonna be pissed. You want me to sign you in for LaSalle? I'm only gonna do this once, but you better do the same thing for me. Okay, so we can't curse, right? Right, so tell me why I got four demerits for not saying ass, but saying angle side side. Just because I substituted the curse word? That ain't right. And hey, you know what I hate about this uniform? Every time I go to a store where the employees wear a polo and khakis, I am the one who always gets asked where the stuff is. Miss so-and-so gave me my first demerit. We gonna have a tough year. Man, these freshmen don't even know what they got themselves into. Hey, so what were you doing in American literature when we were supposed to be on the computers typing our papers? Hey, look, I'm a rebel. I got my collar tucked into my sweater. They can't catch me. They caught me. Okay, I don't get how not having a belt on is distracting in class when everybody else is learning and they say that everybody's gonna be looking at you because you don't have a belt on. So I gotta sit out in the office the whole class period until I get picked up? That ain't right. So you seen so-and-so's haircut, right? So he put a band-aid on the little design. Now that's more distracting than the actual haircut. So did you see what they're trying to tell us that we could wear for Spirit Week? One of the options is professional day like if we were going to work excuse me what happened to pajama day and twin day and all that stuff this ain't real so not only do the graduation gowns have the logo on them but we can't even keep them i lost my agenda the other day you think it's in the lost and found man i hope i don't get any demerits for that i lose participation points how much is a new agenda? Uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm gonna I'm just go buy one. So you know how the teachers always be saying, Oh, try to get merits. I picked up a piece of garbage the other day, put it in the garbage can in front of a teacher. They said, Oh, that was nice. Where's my merit? Y'all keep on saying, You're gonna give all merits. Where's my merit? Hello? You know what I hate the most? When... Some teachers or some of the staff make up rules that's not in the handbook. But we're supposed to be going from the handbook and learning from those rules. How are you going to make up a rule and give us a demerit for it if we're not even aware of it? That ain't right. Okay, so I know teachers don't get paid that much. But when you're working at a noble school and you're a charter school teacher, you get paid a good amount of money. So why can't my advisor buy us some pizza or some Chinese food or some Jimmy John's or something like that? They cheap as hell. And then they got like 1,500 Apple products. And we, we can't even get some pizza. Okay, so I was hugging one of my guy friends the other day for less than one second. And I almost got a demerit for it. And I was outside of the damn school. Not even inside. You know that homework packet that they gave us? I'm going to start it. But I'm going to finish it the night before it's due. I hope uh, Miss So-and-So puts me in a group with my friends because, you know, sure, we'll work on a project, but we ain't going to finish it that day. Man, I hope I didn't get paired up with somebody who never does their work. I'm always the one who always has to do the project. This ain't fair. Why can't I ever pick my partners or something? These people are always lazy. And when I call them, they never answer the phone. And when I try to email them, they never there. But when I go up to the teacher and say, this person isn't doing their job, the teacher's like, well, you should have told me this before. They knowing damn well that they ain't going to do the work. Can you believe that I was working on this project the whole time and then my partner is going to say, oh, 
did you put my name on it? Like, they did the whole project the whole freaking three days you worked on it. Sure, I'll put your name on it. I'll put your name on the zero that you deserve. Lunch looked a little gross today. I think I'm going to hit the vending machine. Sometimes the only time in advisory and PN that I'm looking forward to is snack. Dang, we just had lunch and I'm still hungry. Hey, did you write down the homework for today? Because I think this is one of the nights where I'm going to do it. Can you believe this? I actually did my homework last night, but I left it at home. Um, you want to know where my homework is? Um, you see, I, I did it, but, uh, you know, it got, it fell in the hallway and people kept on stepping on it. So I, I just decided to throw it out. Guess how long it took me to do my homework last night? Almost five hours. They told us it was supposed to take three. Now they're telling us that it moves up two hours every year you increase. What? Okay, tell me this. How am I supposed to get my homework done, go to my enrichment, do whatever else I have to do outside of school, and then still have time for myself to sharpen the saw? You tell me how I can plan that out. Man, I miss the teachers and the staff who left. They wouldn't be doing this to us. Okay, I know that we need an escort and everything, but I'm years old. I really need an escort to the bathroom? Where else can I go? We're on lockdown at that school. So what if I spent five minutes in the bathroom? It don't matter. I'm going to do it with an escort or without. What's the whole point of the escorts? And then, when you do have to go to the bathroom, the escorts be taking too long to get up there. Lazy. Okay, so I don't even want to go to pick up my report card. And I hate this uniform already. I gotta wear my uniform just to pick up my report card? I'm not even going to school! You know, in the beginning when I was a freshman, I thought that it, advisory in the afternoon was pretty good. But now, seriously, we could leave. We don't need that 30 minutes. I don't do homework in there. So on Fridays when we have town hall, most of it is just bickering at us to either be prepared for a test or don't do stuff that other kids are doing or just boring stuff that we already know. I got a sharpie. But if you need it, please don't get me caught. I ain't getting no demerits over this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if in high school, aren't we supposed to pick the classes that we want to take? Sometimes what gets on my nerves is when I see girls in the office on Spirit Week when we have to dress professionally because their skirts are too short. But really, these teachers... Don't even get me started on how short their skirts are. Don't ever tell me to be noble. Hey guys, so that was just part one of stuff noble students say. To help me with part two, if any of you out there are watching this video and went to a noble school, please send me some of the stuff that you would want me to put in the next video. That would be great. I'm very open to feedback. Um, just don't send me hate. This is just basically how I felt when I went to school. So, yeah. Like I said, if you got feedback, if you want to say something, something's missing, just tell me and I'll put it in part two. I'm also looking for people to say stuff with me. So, if you're interested and you know me, please don't hesitate. Contact me. It, does, it seems more real when you actually have noble students. So... Okay, so I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed what you saw so far. And I'll be working on the next video. Oh, yeah, and uh, one more thing. I know this is like, I don't know if it probably looks ghetto or whatever, but this is um, a garbage bag, a piece of a garbage bag. I just decided to cover up the school that I went to. I mean, if you know me, you know what school I went to. But I just decided to cover it up because... Uh, for like respect of my school or whatever and just first like I don't want to give my school a bad name if this came out negative so plus I just think that this is probably at all noble schools I kind of did a little bit of research and yeah I kind of just threw this together so um, like I said uh, I hope you guys give me feedback because I really really want to make this even more real with part two so just tell me what you guys think and 
please, please give me more uh, suggestions on what to put in the next video. Thanks.